are going to be given challenges. And those challenges are, and challenges are intended to follow through what you asked for. While developing your vision and acting upon it, you will naturally run into conflict. You will always have duality or contrast in life. It's the spice of life. You know, adversity, uh, I was fortunate enough to get, you know, make the final cut for the USA team trials team and I went down during, uh, during the school year, told everybody I was gonna be gone for a couple months because, uh, you know, I was going to, uh, to make the team. He wanted to make the USA team. Um, and I remember from the day that Jesse like came in to start working with us, I mean, like you asked Jesse what he wants to do, like what are his goals and everything. And Jesse had very, very like high goals for himself and, and, he, and he worked his tail off and he, and he made himself who he is today. But I remember him um, talking about going to the USA tryouts and everything. And he went down there and he threw really well. He did really, really well and he didn't make it. And I remember how upset he was. And uh, you know, it was 32 players, 24 players made it. And um, I went down, it was a week of tryouts. I pitched really well. I thought I had a really good chance of making it. Everybody else on the team thought I had a good chance of making it. And uh, you know, at the last, the last second, they told me that I was cut. Um, and I was devastated. You know? And I thought, you know, if, if I make Team USA, then I'm also gonna be a first round pick because it's it's those two things that go together. But when I called you and I told you that I didn't make it, you told me that this just wasn't the plan. You know, when, when it's just not in the plan, you have to kind of basically adjust, tell yourself that everything's going to be all right, and you have to go to the new plan. And you have to, uh, you know, you just kind of have to roll with the punches. Personally, I think that that motivated Jesse more than, like, by him being cut from that USA team, he worked harder to basically almost to prove to them, like, I'm going to show you the mistake that you made. I should have been on that team. I know that I could have pitched on that team. And Jesse made himself, you know, the first round draft pick that he was. I got home, and the next day um, I, was, uh, I was in the weight room wearing my USA baseball shirt because I knew that if I wanted to make it, I was going to have to use it as motivation, not as, you know, you know a, a shot. You know, I was, I, was, I was up, and I was ready to go. Players were like, see me coming, like, and it was ridiculous how bad I was. And my dad took interest in me. He saw potential in me I didn't even see, because honestly, I was ready to just quit. It was so frustrating. Um, he would wake me up on Saturday mornings, and we'd go to the park. We'd work on, you know, he would work on my skills and shooting and how to make a layup. And then when I was in eighth grade, which was really tough, he would have me go out and play with men. Um, I really had no skill, but I think athletically I could hang with them. And, um, I get knocked on my butt a lot and my shot blocked, but it made me um, a little bit edgier as a player, a little bit tougher. And um, I mean, just from that, that experience alone, it kind of made me always get out of my comfort zone. That it, it just made me, made me a better athlete. You know, just keep pushing and pushing. Get yourself out of that comfort zone and you'll see yourself on the other side. You know, sometimes you just got to jump off that cliff, even though you don't know where you're going to land. But sometimes when you find out that you jump off that cliff and you land on your feet, you shake it off, you say, hey, listen, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, all right. But then see, when that comes into a game or whatever situation of the game, they'll know that they can do that then. You know, that's the mental approach, self-confidence right there. And it drives me nuts when coaches go up and say things like, well, just throw strikes. Don't they realize that that's exactly what the young man or a young lady on the mound wants to do? Of course they want to throw a strike. Right. It's negative. Right. You know, even the phrase, just protect. Every time I hear that, that's like saying, do you realize you have two strikes on you? You know, you want to remind your yeah, son. Fear as, creeps in. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So what do I need to do? Well, maybe I need to watch that ball because, oh, i got to protect the plate. You know, I'm going to watch. No, that's not what they want me to do. Oh, what should I do? What should I do? And you almost watch the kid going back and forth. You know, he couldn't hit, he couldn't hit a baseball this big after a while. First and foremost, obstacles are there as a learning experience. They're never there to defeat you. If you find yourself defeated in the face of an obstacle, it's not because it's broken you, it's because you haven't found the right avenue to get around it. Someone is gonna tell you no. Someone who cares about you might be the person saying no, but you're the one who has to deal with your response to it. The bottom line is, the energy that makes your heart beat flows into you with pure and unconditional power, love and appreciation for all that you are. If this energy is not received with the same intention with which it has been sent, the energy becomes distorted and fragmented. It will negatively affect every aspect of your life as a result. An acronym for fear is false evidence appearing real. And that's, 
everybody you know, experiences that. The, the cool part is how quickly can you snap out of it? And I, 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 have a, I had a coach who could kind of spot if I was like the deer in the headlights, you know, snap out of it, sit on the bench, get yourself together, go back in. As an athlete, you have to focus your energy and that energy has to flow. So when you have a strong emotional desire, stay positive about it. Don't let a negative thought move in. Stay focused on what you want to see happen. What you want is on its way. You're